When Tesla officially announced that the Model 2 would arrive on the market in November 2026, the reaction was immediate. Disbelief mixed with excitement. After all, a Tesla for just $15,290 seemed more like a bold promise from Elon Musk than a realistic goal. But time showed that it wasn't just marketing talk. Test footage in Austin, Texas revealed a compact, lightweight, efficient car with a proposition that challenges the entire concept of an affordable electric car. The public, accustomed to seeing electric vehicles with prohibitive prices, began to understand that something truly different was about to happen. And it wasn't just a cost reduction, it was a complete paradigm shift. The Model 2's design impresses precisely because of its simplicity. No excesses, no useless ornaments. It's the kind of car that seems to have been designed with the less is more philosophy. The clean lines, the slim headlights, and the futuristic touch of the frost blue paint give it a unique personality. Even with its low price, it still carries that Tesla DNA that sets it apart from any other vehicle on the road. It's curious how the brand managed to balance minimalism and visual identity without falling into the feeling of a cheap car. On the contrary, there's something elegant and sophisticated in its simplicity. But what truly makes eyes light up is the technical package. The base version's 280-mile range would already be excellent for the price, but the long-range version goes even further, reaching up to 310 miles. This puts the Model 2 on a level that few electric vehicles can achieve, and none in this price range. The secret lies in the 53 Tweed Trotter structural battery, made with LFP cells, a type of chemistry that eliminates expensive materials like nickel and cobalt. This decision was crucial to reducing costs without sacrificing durability or safety. Tesla has managed to transform what was once the biggest obstacle for electric cars, the price of batteries, into its greatest asset. The new technology, besides being cheaper, is lighter and more stable, meaning less risk of overheating and more consistent performance over the years. It's as if the company has found the perfect balance between cost, range, and safety. This changes everything for the market. Now, owning an electric car is no longer a privilege for the few, but a real possibility for millions of people. Beyond performance, there's something almost symbolic about this launch. The Model 2 represents the beginning of the democratization of electric mobility. Tesla, which started with luxurious and expensive vehicles, is finally delivering a product designed for the general public without sacrificing innovation. It's as if Elon Musk has decided to close a cycle, first proving that electric cars could be fast and desirable, and now proving that they can also be accessible and popular. This turning point could alter the course of the global automotive industry. The minimalist design also hides functional intelligence. Every detail of the Model 2 was designed to reduce costs and increase efficiency. From the more aerodynamic shape to the simplified structure, everything was thought out to facilitate production and improve performance. It's impressive to see how Tesla managed to eliminate the superfluous without compromising the driver experience. The doors, for example, have a smooth and precise manual closing mechanism, while the interior maintains the comfort and space expected from a car of this brand. Even as an entry-level vehicle, the Model 2 doesn't feel like a smaller Tesla. It conveys the same futuristic feeling that made the brand iconic. The digital interface, clean dashboard, and interior lighting create a modern atmosphere without the coldness that many low-cost electric cars transmit. It's a sensory experience, the kind of car that makes you feel like you're driving the future, even paying a price that would fit many used combustion engine cars. To achieve the historic price of $15,190 for the Model 2, Tesla had to rethink virtually everything it knew about automotive production. And the most curious thing is that it did this not with a luxury revolution, but with a philosophy of simplicity. Nothing there is by chance. Every detail, every component was analyzed to answer the question, does this really need to be here? Smaller wheels? simple glass, fabric seats, 
and a more streamlined sound system, everything is part of an engineering plan calculated down to the last penny. And the result is a car that delivers the essentials, but without seeming limited. This approach demonstrates a maturity from Tesla that goes beyond technological innovation. It's as if the company has learned the art of simplifying without impoverishing the experience. The single layer glass, for example, reduces weight and costs, but maintains good acoustic insulation thanks to new internal insulation materials. The fabric seats, which might seem like a step backward, offer surprising thermal comfort and durability, something that makes sense in hot climate markets like Brazil. The idea is clear, less luxury, more purpose. Another interesting detail is how Tesla understands the modern consumer. The Model 2 was designed for an audience that wants technology and efficiency, not ostentation. It's a car that speaks to those who want a Tesla for the experience, not the status. The absence of items like a sunroof, automatic retractable mirrors, or a 15-speaker sound system isn't a blind cut. It's a strategic choice. Instead of seducing with superfluities, the Model 2 wins over with logic. It's the kind of product that makes a person think, yes, that's exactly what I need. Behind the scenes, this cost-cutting is an engineering feat as complex as developing a new engine. Every part has been redesigned to cost less and last longer. The process is so meticulous that even the speakers have been repositioned to ensure balanced sound, even with half the number used in larger models. This obsession with efficiency reflects Elon Musk's DNA, turning every obstacle into an opportunity to simplify. It's as if the Model 2 is the result of a Zen philosophy applied to automotive engineering. But what's most striking is how Tesla managed to do all this without the car looking cheap. The interior, while minimalist, still has that futuristic touch that everyone associates with the brand. The clean dashboard, the 15-inch central screen, and the simplified steering wheel keep the Tesla aesthetic intact. It's the balance between accessibility and innovation that gives the Model 2 a unique charm. The car seems to say, I'm simple, but I'm still a Tesla. And that, in itself, is a huge achievement. There's also a psychological aspect to all of this. Tesla understood that the consumer of 2026 doesn't want to pay for what they don't use. And that's the secret to the success of intelligent simplicity. The Model 2 doesn't try to compete with luxury cars. It redefines what's necessary. It's a vehicle made for everyday life, to be practical, economical, and enjoyable to drive, without the feeling of giving up something essential. The cost-benefit ratio here isn't a promise. It's a reality built into every detail. Interestingly, this concept could inspire other automakers to follow the same path. After all, when a company manages to reduce the price without compromising the essence of the product, the entire market needs to adjust. The Model 2 is the kind of car that changes consumption patterns. It proves that true innovation lies not only in creating something new, but in simplifying what already exists without losing its soul. And that's something few companies manage to do. While many are still trying to understand how Tesla managed to reduce the cost of the Model 2 so drastically, the answer lies hidden at the heart of the company's operations. A machine as powerful as it is futuristic, called the 54,000-ton Gigapress. The name alone commands respect, but what it does is even more impressive. Instead of assembling the chassis with hundreds of separate parts, this machine molds virtually the entire undercarriage of the car into a single cast piece. It sounds like science fiction, but it's already a reality at Giga Texas and promises to redefine the concept of an automotive production line. The comparison with traditional methods is almost unfair. Before, there were more than 200 parts joined by welds, screws, glues, manual alignments, and fine adjustments. Now, there are only 85 structural components with the chassis being literally ejected from the Gigapress as if it were a giant Lego piece. The precision is millimetric. The molten aluminum reaches 500 treaters and is cooled to 60 degrees in seconds, all with automated control. The speed of the process borders on the absurd. 
One car every five seconds, under ideal conditions. The industry has never seen anything like it. This leap in productivity is only possible thanks to the colossal force of the machine. It exerts 54,000 tons of pressure, almost nine times more powerful than the previous version used in the Model Y. And it's no exaggeration to say that this Gigapress is the beating heart of Tesla's new generation. It reduces labor costs, minimizes human error, and virtually eliminates entire assembly steps. The time previously spent soldering dozens of components is now converted into seconds of robotic efficiency. Another advantage is that Gigapress allows for a level of standardization and repeatability that even the best traditional factories cannot achieve. Each part comes out virtually identical to the previous one, which improves aerodynamics, reduces structural noise, and even contributes to the car's safety. Furthermore, direct integration with the battery's structural package allows assembly to skip steps that previously required hours of human labor. It's the kind of innovation that not only cuts costs, it completely changes the logic of production. And what's most fascinating is that this revolution isn't limited to Giga Texas. Tesla has already begun replicating the technology in other factories, such as Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin, with the goal of globalizing this efficiency. The objective is clear, to make the mass production of electric cars as fast and cheap as that of combustion engine vehicles. And if it depends on Gigapress, that future is much closer than it seems. It's as if Tesla has reinvented the factory, not just the car. It's not just about speed, but also about integration. Each stage of the casting process is monitored by sensors, thermal cameras, and automated systems that track the viscosity of the aluminum, the precise injection pressure, and even the quality of the metal alloy, the mold cleaning itself, the application of oil, the vacuum to prevent bubbles, and the X-ray inspection. Everything happens continuously and synchronously without pause. The goal is simple, constant flow production with zero waste. Furthermore, surplus aluminum is recycled on the spot, reintroduced into the system in cycles that resemble a perfect circular production line. This instant reuse not only reduces environmental costs, but also improves the factory's energy efficiency. Tesla, in this respect, is not just manufacturing cars, it is manufacturing the factory of the future itself. And that may be the greatest legacy left by the 54,000-ton Gigapress. The Model 2's architecture isn't just impressive on the outside. It's designed to be lightweight, efficient, and perfectly integrated with a crucial component, the new 53 kilowatt structural battery. Tesla has taken the less is more concept to a new level by merging structure and power into a single piece. Instead of assembling the battery separately and then attaching it to the chassis, as was done in the past, the battery is now part of the car's structure. This eliminates entire assembly steps, reduces weight, and improves vehicle rigidity. The result? A more agile, safer car with greater range. This revolutionary solution was only possible thanks to the adoption of LFP, lithium iron phosphate cells, supplied by the Chinese giant CATL. Unlike nickel and cobalt cells, which are more expensive and unstable, LFP cells are cheap, durable, and extremely safe. They withstand more charge cycles, are less prone to overheating, and, with recent advances, already deliver more than enough energy densities for urban use and medium distance travel. And best of all, the prices of these batteries have been plummeting in recent years, reaching use $50 per kilowatt in China. The direct mounting of the battery in the car's base also favors another essential aspect, drivability. With a lower and better distributed center of gravity, the Model 2 offers a firm and stable driving feel even in the simplest versions. The driving experience approaches that of Tesla's higher-end models, despite its more affordable proposition. It's the kind of car you feel in your hands and realize that, even costing less, it still delivers the thrill of driving a real Tesla. Another surprising point is the range. 
Even with only 53 kilobilawatt of capacity, the energy efficiency is so great that the Model 2 can achieve up to 310 miles in its most optimized version. This is due not only to the lightness of the assembly, but also to the refined aerodynamic work. The short end design and the absence of unnecessary elements create a cleaner airflow, less resistance, and of course, more miles with less energy. LFP's choice also has a strategic aspect that goes beyond price. Independence from critical supply chains. By avoiding rare minerals controlled by a few countries, Tesla gains flexibility and reduces exposure to geopolitical crises. This allows it to keep costs under control even during times of global instability. In the long term, this strategy could be the differentiating factor that sustains the affordable model without depending on government subsidies or incentives. This battery, by the way, is not just structural in the physical sense. It is the functional heart of the car, interconnected to the control, climate, and steering systems in a more direct way. This reduces the need for cables, additional modules, and redundant systems. The result is an optimized platform, easy to produce at scale and ideal for compact vehicles that demand engineering precision. It's as if Tesla were sculpting every millimeter of efficiency. And even though the Model 2's battery may seem modest compared to the Plaid or long-range versions of other models, it hits the mark in what really matters. Useful range and value for money. The secret lies in doing more with less, and that includes everything from the size of the battery pack to its integration with the structure. This concept of unified design will most likely be the new industry standard, pushing other automakers to rethink their own platforms. While the whole world was looking to Giga Texas as the main stage for the Model 2 launch, Tesla decided to make a strategic move that caught many by surprise. The real start of production will be in Giga Shanghai, China. It may seem strange at first glance, but this choice makes perfect sense. The Chinese factory is currently the company's most efficient, capable of assembling a Model Y every 33 seconds. And with the Model 2 being even simpler and having fewer components, this time could drop to an incredible 20 seconds per car. It's Asian scale production, fast, precise, and unbeatable in cost. There is also a geopolitical issue in this decision. Since most LFP batteries come from China, especially from CATL, it makes sense to keep the supply as close as possible to the assembly line. This reduces logistical costs, avoids delays, and ensures greater quality control. Furthermore, launching first in China allows Tesla to gain ground in one of the world's most competitive and challenging markets, where local brands like BYD and NIO are making strong inroads into the affordable EV segment. But China isn't the only target. Europe is also on Tesla's radar as a launch priority. With production at Giga Berlin being adapted to the new Model 2 technologies, the European continent becomes one of the first regions outside of Asia to receive the new electric compact.